Well, hello there, Aquarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius for the week of July 18th. If this one doesn't resonate, go ahead and check out your other placements in my other readings, specifically your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You probably want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. All right, we're looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is 20 bucks. If you would like the extended, click the join button down below or look for the link in the description box. It's $10. You get access to all the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. All right, Aquarius. So I think what we have here is someone lying to themselves. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We've got the eight of swords, which is self-limiting behavior, self-sabotage. You can see like in reality, she's not tied up. She's not blindfolded. And yet she perceives herself this way. She's making herself helpless. She's limiting herself, sabotaging herself. Seven of Swords in reverse. Sometimes this can mean truth revealed. Sometimes this is about self-deception. Sometimes it's about uh, lying to a, another person about something that's kind of blatantly obvious. And it, this all has to do with feelings here. We have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And it's showing up with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So the person you're dealing with could be a water sign. Uh, sometimes the court cards are aspects of our own personality here. And cups represent emotions. They represent uh, how we show up in relationships, intuition. In the reverse, this could mean someone struggling with their emotions, overwhelmed by their emotions, kind of almost like held hostage by them. This is someone who... I don't think is comfortable talking about them, let alone acknowledging them. And I think that's why the four of cups is here. You can see she's being offered this cup. She's not taking it. She's not even looking at it. This is someone out of alignment with themselves. They don't know what they want. They don't know what would make them happy. They're just kind of sitting there and not making a decision, not making a choice, ignoring the options available to them. And I think this is the energy this person has been in. It is possible that this is vice versa. Uh, for a lot of you, I think you might be dealing with someone who doesn't admit how they feel about you or talk about how they feel. Maybe you're guessing here, like, does this person even care about me at all? So let's check out your person in more detail and see what's what. Okay, Aquarius, here's what I have so far. I'm going to be pulling more cards from the Lightseer's Tarot, which is on the table. And I'm also going to be clarifying that with the, mm, the Tarot of Mystical Moments. There we go. You can find links to both of those down below in the description box. So I think what's going on here, we have some confusion with the Seven of Cups. That's not being able to see what's really going on delusions, delusions, and the reverse is getting clarity, specifically on their feelings. The four of pentacles here is self-limiting. It's also holding back. Uh, I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to let you in. And I do think that this person is struggling with that, being vulnerable, being open. I'm not sure if they've been hurt in the past, whether it's just someone who doesn't open up naturally. Some people are quieter than others. Some people are more reserved than others. And we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So there's more water here. We had water in the beginning. Some of you may definitely be dealing with a water sign. I would also say this Knight of Cups may be someone who's unreliable in love, maybe in and out of your life, maybe in and out of this connection with you. Or it feels like they're not able to commit to it as fully as you are. Uh, the knights, they're not reliable. They travel in the deck. They go after things. It's funny that it's showing up as a cup here, though. Uh, this is definitely someone who's, whose emotions don't come to them that easily. 
All right, let's see what else comes out here. Tell me about Aquarius's person. All right, we've got hmm, the world here. That is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. The world is ending a cycle. It's leveling up in your life. It's learning some lessons along the way. The world can also mean a long distance relationship with someone or someone who travels for work or you travel with, maybe someone you met while you were traveling, as well as this Ace of Cups. Whoever this person is, they're coming to terms with their feelings, like finally. Not only that, I do think they're getting ready to kind of open up to you and clarify all of this with you. Let me arrange these so you can see everything. Okay, that's better. So the Ace of Cups is falling in love with someone. It's being overwhelmed by emotion. It's a brand new love cycle. Someone who's giving to you, allowing themselves to be vulnerable here. You can see like it's literally a cup of love. There's a heart in it. All right. Yeah, we've got the six of pentacles. That is giving to the connection. Hold on. I love that depiction of the card. It's one hand that's outstretched. The other one is putting coins into it. This is literally someone valuing you. They value the connection. They're willing to give you their time and energy and effort. So I think that this has been kind of a journey for this person. They may have been learning some lessons along the way, like learning to trust and love, which is a huge deal. Not everyone learns that lesson in this life. So tell me about Aquarius's person. At the end of this reading, I'm going to pull up a card for how this person currently feels about you right now, too. Tell me about Aquarius. Okay. All right. We've got the Justice card, Major for Libra. This is definitely someone speaking the truth, being honest, being open. Um, for like a subset of you, this person may have been going through a legal case. And maybe that was constraining them. Um, sometimes like child custody, sometimes like divorce arrangements. Um, maybe this person was sort of constrained by that and didn't want to. I don't know. This could have started out as an affair. This person could be married. That's not totally there. They may have also been married in the past and things ended badly. And that's made them very, very... Oh, like gun shy about getting married or falling in love, allowing themselves to feel that way. Got the seven of pentacles, a little Johnny Appleseed here. Again, this is someone willing to do the work here. You can see the rake. This is someone uh, harvesting this relationship. They're planting seeds for the future, taking care of the future here. I think bottom line, they're seeing a future with you. In order to maintain this relationship or take things to the next level, they're going to have to be a little bit vulnerable here. They're going to have to balance the scales with the justice card. That can be somebody apologizing to you as well. Making things right. Particularly even with the six of pentacles, you may have given to this person more than they gave. Maybe they weren't giving to the relationship equally. Okay, yeah. We've got the Page of Wands as well. So pages are about communication. Uh, they can be about children. For some of you, there may be a child here. This is Leo Sagieri's energy. It's also taking a new path. It's self-discovery here. You can see the spying glass that he has. Like, let's follow our excitement. Let's go on a new trail. Let's see what else is out there. Let's explore a little bit. Um... This person may have a really negative relationship with their feelings or they've had a bad relationship in the past. 
this has made them see that in a bad light. Like they don't want to be vulnerable. Like maybe they're the child of a very terrible divorce. Um, maybe they've had a relationship that ended very, very badly. And like, I don't know that I want to risk it. This is taking a certain amount of risk. This is going down a new road, trying a new thing. All right, let's look at their current feelings. So what is this person's current feelings for you? What are the current feelings right now for Aquarius? All right, well, we've got the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords can be a couple of things. It's someone leaving the connection. More likely here, this is someone who wants to get into calmer waters with you. You can see everything is really choppy in the foreground and then things get progressively like smoother and easier. This is someone who maybe has been overthinking things or been in their head because we're talking about swords. They're ready to kind of have a talk with you. They're ready to, to discuss this, to finally get it out in the open. They want to move past the current situation. Maybe the tension between the two of you is really bad right now. And that's something that they want to work on. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to order your own reading, you can find that link down below. Uh, well, links. The, the least expensive is $20. If you want the extended, click the join button. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.